Club Express, Storefront, Configuring the Module, and Product Defaults. The Storefront module allows clubs and associations to sell physical and digital products on their website. Products can be made available to members and non-members with individual prices for each. You can also sell variations of physical products, like different sized club t-shirts or digital products like an ebook or manual. Clubs can also add shipping options by weight and location or flat rate shipping costs. This video is part of a storefront series. Be sure to watch the remaining tutorials to learn how to manage products and inventory, set up shipping options, and manage orders. If you haven't already added the storefront to your website, you can enable it through the control panel. In the Money tab, click the Configure button. Scroll down to find the storefront under Disabled Modules for the tab. In the Configure window, change the status to Active and save your changes. You'll see the storefront appear in your control panel in Test Mode. When you enable the storefront, we put you in Test Mode first. This gives you the chance to build out your storefront, add items to your cart, and fulfill orders without creating transactions. When you finally activate your storefront and make it available to your website visitors, all the products you added in test mode will be available. We'll talk more about test mode in later tutorials. In the Money tab, select our new module, Storefront. The Storefront module has two administrative sides, one for managing products and one for managing orders. When you first activate the module, clicking the Control Panel link takes you to the Product Manager. Let's review the Product Manager screen. At the top of the screen are buttons to take you to the Order Manager, configure the module and default settings, run product and inventory reports, and add physical and digital products. You'll also see a search panel allowing you to search all products in your storefront. Click the Orders button to navigate to the Order Manager. The Order Manager includes buttons to take you to the Product Manager, run order reports, manage digital downloads for members, and export order data. You'll also see a search panel allowing you to search through storefront orders. Note that you can also configure the module and default settings from this screen. Let's go back to the Product Manager to set up our storefront. We'll start with the default settings for the module, products, and shipping. Click Configure Storefront Options. First, Let's configure the display setup for storefront users and administrators. In the display section, we'll leave the order button text as the default and only show in stock items, but we'll deselect the option to show the quantity available for the products and change the sort order to show the newest products first. When you add individual products, you'll have the choice to feature the product and highlight it at the top of the page regardless of your sort order. In the Administration section, your default starting view is set to the Product Manager. This is great for initially configuring the module and adding products. Later, when we've added all our products and are mainly fulfilling orders, we can return to this screen and change the default setting. Choose the storefront contact. The contact's name, email, and phone number are included in the order and shipment confirmation emails the customers will receive. Choose a financial account for shipping and handling fees. We'll leave the setting as the default account. Choose the forms you want to print when you ship an order. We'll leave each of these checked. When you mark the order is ready to ship, each form will open in a separate print dialog on your device. Next, let's look at options for our products. We'll change our download time limit for digital products to 14 days. We'll be able to change this for individual users if their time limit expires. Next, in Product Defaults, most of our products will be available to non-members, and we'll be able to change it at the individual product level, so we'll leave the box checked. Some of our products will have variations for size and color, so we'll leave those boxes checked. Later, we'll set up our size and color options. We can also configure an added variation for our products. The new option appears as an empty text field when you add the product, so you can have a completely different variation type for each product. For example, if I wanted to sell club lawn signs, we can add both wood and vinyl options. And for member art, we can add both framed and unframed options. If you're only selling digital products, the variation settings won't matter, 
but you should uncheck the boxes to remove the fields and declutter your admin view. Last, let's review options related to orders and shipping. We don't charge a handling fee, so we'll leave the setting to $0. If you want to be able to ship partially filled orders, for example, if part of the customer's order is backordered, leave the box checked. We have two options for shipping methods, which we'll review in more detail in our tutorial, Configuring Shipping Options. So for now, let's leave the setting as it is. We'll also add our club address as the ship from name. We want to be able to contact non-members about their orders, so we'll need an email address and mobile phone number. This information gets stored in our non-member database. Click Save to save any changes. Back on the Product Manager screen, let's set up Product Categories. Click Configure Product Categories. Click the Add Category button to add a new category. Name your category and choose Active so the category and products in the category will show up in your storefront. You can return to the screen later to deactivate entire product categories. The display sequence determines the sort order of the category names in the product filter menu for users. When you're finished, return to the product manager screen. Next, let's set up our size and color variations. First, click Configure Product Colors. Add and name your colors. The display sequence here determines the sort order in the drop down menus admins choose from when configuring the product, so you should put the colors you use most at the top. Back on the Product Manager screen, click Configure Product Size Categories to set up categories of size options you'll choose from when adding products. You might have one category for shirts, including small, medium, and large, and another category for mugs with 12 and 16 ounce options. Click Add Size Category and name your category. Once you've added the category, click the Sizes icon in the Maintain column to add the individual sizes. When you're finished, return to the Product Manager screen. Since we're configuring our shipping options later, we'll skip the shipping configuration for now. Click Storefront Policy to add a policy about your items, returns, or shipping options. The last option in the Configure menu allows you to change the display order of featured products. If you don't have any products in your storefront, or if you don't have any featured products, this list will be empty. We'll revisit this option when we add products in Storefront Managing Products. So now you've learned how to set up the Storefront module and product defaults. Next, you'll learn how to set up your storefront shipping options. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.